I want to show you how easy it is to use the budget import and export function in Dynamics GP. With this function I can create new budgets in Dynamics GP and I can easily update budgets. So let's take a look at it. In Dynamics GP I'm going to go to Cards, Financial, and Budgets. Here you can see I've got a number of budgets already in my system. But I'm going to add a new one so I'm going to click on New and I've got two options. I create that budget in GP directly or I can use the budget wizard for Excel. Let's use the budget wizard. It'll step us through the processes we need to make a new budget in Excel and also in GP. Put the budget name in here. It's going to be for our fiscal year and I'm going to use 2017. I'll hit Next. I'm just going to use a blank budget. So I'll select that. And I'm going to use um, some actuals for comparison. So I'll put that in there as well. And I just want the profit and loss accounts. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select all the accounts and hit Next. I can mark or unmark these if I want to. I'm just going to select the default and hit Next. I can create a new workbook. So I'll hit Next and then Finish. I'm going to save this file here. And that's going to go through the process. It's going to create that Excel spreadsheet, and we'll take a look at it. So here's my blank worksheet. There's a very strict format that the system uses. It's got the first three rows are descriptions. The first column are the account numbers. The second column are the descriptions. And the remaining columns are the columns within your fiscal period. So all we need to do here is then fill in the budget amounts. We can fill them in directly here, or, get these, or these could reference cells in other worksheets or other spreadsheets within this worksheet. So let's enter some budgets, and I'll, we'll come right back. Now I've entered some budget numbers, and you'll notice that these are sales accounts over here, so they're normally credit balance accounts. So I'm going to want to enter the balance as a negative amount. You can see that here. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and then we'll import it into Dynamics GP. Back in GP, we can see the new budget that we have. This is the one that we just created. Now what I want to do is import it back into GP. So I'm going to hit Excel, Import from Excel. A wizard comes up again. Let's go through the wizard. I'll hit Next. And I'm going to import into an existing GP budget. Here it is right here. Hit Next. And I'll go and browse out for my Excel spreadsheet. Here it is. It's going to list the worksheets. Let me select this one here, hit Next, and then Finish. And it's going to import all that data into GP, and then we'll take a look at it in GP. So the budget's been imported. Let's take a look at it. I'll go to Cards, Financial Accounts, look up one of the accounts. I believe this is one here. Let's take a look at the budget open up that tab, select the correct budget, and you can see the budget numbers there. These were imported from Excel and now they're in GP. But one thing you want to make sure you do is once you have the budget imported into GP, you want to create a quick FRX report to make sure that all the data got in from Excel into GP. It's relatively easy to do and it's basically going to be a row format that lists all the accounts and then the the relative column layout that you want to make sure that you got all the data. And that's a good check because the import process does not tell you when an amount has not been imported. So you want to do that. So this was just a quick demonstration of how easy it is to create a budget in GP using the Excel wizard and also how I can import that data back into GP. If you haven't tried it, you really should because it's rel relatively easy to do and I think that you really like it.